Welcome to Grandma's house filled with dolls, miniatures, and nostalgia. This is Grandma. I'm on my way to Los Angeles to a holiday party. One of my favorite companies has invited us. My daughter Ashley's driving. Can't wait to get there and show you all the fun. All right, Los Angeles. Use the left two lanes to take the US one. We love LA. It's just hard to get here from Orange County. All right, we made it here to LA. My daughter and you saw it's a holiday party for Miniverse. Oh, they've got the little plants. So cute. We do not have these. Look at this. Oh, wait, there's the mini that fell. Oh, boy. Oh, take a mini. Is that what that says? Yeah. Well, that's too exciting. And how would you decide? There's so many. Oh, my goodness. Should I take flowers? That's cute. This cake one looks good. What are you going to take? Let's take a mini. Isn't that cute? Oh, is this supposed to have this? What do you like? That strawberry yeah. thing? Oh, that's cute. Huh? Yeah, that's cute. Is that cute? I recently attended one of the most magical events in Los Angeles, MGA's Miniverse Holiday Happy Hour at the stunning Millwick venue. For those who don't know, MGA Entertainment is one of the world's largest toy companies known for creating some of our favorite toys and brands. Their newest innovation, Miniverse, brings the joy of collecting to a whole new tiny scale. The event was a festive wonderland with a stunning white Christmas tree decorated with golden ornaments and the signature Miniverse neon sign created the perfect backdrop for this holiday celebration. I'm excited to take you behind the scenes of this special evening where I got to explore the charming world of Miniverse while wearing my favorite crocheted cardigan and pink pearls. From the creative displays to the holiday decorations and the amazing light installations, every detail was carefully crafted to showcase these adorable miniature Can you Introduce yourself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dragon Day Mini. <laughs> I'm Robin. Let me show you everything that made this night so spectacular. I got some water, liquid death, and Ashley said it's the most expensive water on earth. I don't know about that. Mountain water. I'm not used to expensive stuff. Oh. <laughs> Troy, I want you to know I tried. This oh, is the best I could do. It looks so good. It's the best I could do for Wait, Grandma. It's so good to see you. <laughs> there you go. I, I tried to do my you nails, look but yeah, these are me. beautiful. <laughs> no, you're good. like rivaling me right I now. Tried. You're coming for my gig. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. nail duo and the pearl. We got to experience the magic of miniature crafting in the most festive setting imaginable. The Melwick venue was transformed into a crafter's paradise. The whole setup felt like stepping into a life-size version of a miniverse world, complete with adorable cardboard presents, decorations, and festive displays. What made it even more special was sharing the excitement with other craft enthusiasts, as we all discovered the joy of creating these pocket-sized treasures together.
It was the perfect blend of holiday cheer, creative fun, and miniature magic. This is my friend Robin and she takes her crafting very seriously. She was going to make sure every one of those tiny cherry tomatoes topped her salad. As a content creator specializing in 1-6 scale miniatures and dollhouse content, finding the perfect tiny accessories is essential for creating magical scenes and stories that captivate. That's why discovering Miniverse was such a game changer. Their attention to detail makes every miniature piece ideal for creating realistic scenes and vignettes. From tiny beverages to adorable desserts, each Miniverse item adds that special touch of realism that I love to see. Whether I'm staging a cozy cafe scene or decorating a miniature holiday display, having access to high quality miniatures is crucial for bringing my creative visions to life. It's not just about creating content, it's about building enchanting miniature worlds that inspire imagination and bring joy to myself and my community. The best part? Miniverse pieces are not only perfect for photography and videos, but they're also collectible treasures that any 1-6 scale enthusiast would love to add to their collection. I will be honest, Miniverse has been adding so many new products lately that I can't keep up. There's the Make It Food, there's the Lifestyle, there's Best Sellers, and there's Just Released. Just looking at this case of Tiny Foods, I was just amazed. They have miniature Rice Krispie Treats. I see a shrimp cocktail back there. Oh my goodness, how fun would these be to make? I see an ice tray. Ah, I see some little sliced almonds and in the back there I see a container with some fruits and oh my goodness are those tiny grapes I'm gonna need a closer look at all of these new miniatures that they are coming out with how can I even keep up I do have I think oh gosh three or four different tiny kitchens so I've got plenty of room for more food but I'm just amazed at how creative all these pieces are that is tiny fruit looks like I see strawberries and grapes. I see a watermelon. And oh, there's the make it from scratch. Okay, I haven't even done one of these in person. I haven't even seen one of them until I got to the event. The make it from scratch. I did see it on the TikTok live, but I have not seen one up close and personal. And look at those adorable little desserts from the make it from scratch kits, I guess. It looks like they've got um, Oh, different kinds of desserts, different kinds of cupcakes, different kinds of pies. And then this one I need. Look at that birthday sheet cake. And it's even got letters and candles on top of it. So I think they're really upping the game. Look at the tiny breadsticks that go with the spaghetti. Lobster tails back there. Dino chicken nuggets. Are you kidding me? Had to make a quick trip in here. Had to reapply the pink lipstick. Need to match my pearls. I got the grandma going on tonight. Miniverse also recently just came out with a line of mini makeup. Too big for my dollhouse, but it's very cute. Ha <laughs> ha